Mm. I'll tell you what, spinning change-ups from farther away than 60 feet makes you feel really good about yourself. <laughs> So this is dinner for tonight. I was planning on cooking spaghetti, but then I ran out of time. But this is mom and dad's home cooked crawfish etouffee. I had two containers left in the freezer. So hopefully it's pretty good. <laughs> right-hander Gavin Gidry is fourth punch out in relief on the night for me competing is probably the most fun thing to do on the planet like with literally anything and everything like there's times that we'll be over here at the house and me and Gary will just like cook steaks and it's like we'll have like get our girlfriends like taste a steak to see who's tastes better like everything is just competing and everything is to do things the best and to be the best at what you do. I like those situations. I like as much pressure on me as possible because I know that a lot of people can't handle it. So it's almost like, I feel like it's an advantage to me. If you view it that way, if you view pressure as an advantage, I feel like it's gonna become an advantage because most people are afraid of it. There's some guys who get their confidence and their preparation. Some guys get their confidence from other people. For me, I would say just having a strong support system you know, people around you, your family, your friends, the guys that you can really go to every day. And you know that if you need someone to talk to, if you need anything at all, you have that. That's kind of, I would say, what drives me. I can come off as, you know, cocky a little bit sometimes, but whenever you get to know me, you realize it's a lot more about just feeding myself positivity. And it's a lot more of just making sure that I'm in the right mental state to go out there and, you know, do what I need to do whenever it's my turn. Having a catcher that really like understands you and like knows what makes you tick and just what gets you going and like how to, I would say how to handle you and just keep you in a rhythm is really important. It's probably, it's probably their main job is just understanding the pitcher. Our catchers are really, really good at it. I would say me and Hayden have like similarities and like he kind of plays the same way. He kind of understands me and understands like why I am the way I am. Growing up, I watched a lot of LSU baseball, but I didn't really understand number eight, I would say until last year with whenever Gavin Dugas was here. Obviously now it's Stravinsky too, but whenever I came in, I thought it was a lot more of just, you know, like it was signified who the leader was just for kind of the outside. But I feel like it's a lot more for the inside than anything else. Like, you know, you're number eight and if everyone looks to you to lead the team and show everyone how things are supposed to be done and, uh, Travinsky's done a great job with that. Hickey's had to come out of his comfort zone a little bit to uh, kind of represent that, where it's not, it's just like his natural personality. But I mean, he's done a great job to get us on the right track and get us going for the season. I know, Travinsky, it's like your first year. <laughs> not enough experience. <laughs> hey. I'll keep you as long as you want to stay, Hayden. I'm good with that. Good job, Monster. Good, better, Cam. Good job. Big man, get low. Yeah, Jones. Ball game. Purple wins. Good job. Throw the water on somebody. I love it. I love it. Hey, let's go. Bring it up. Good dinner tonight. Good rest. Get your homework done so you can dive into this weekend ready to compete. And we're playing these four days in a row because the first two weekends of the year we're playing four days in a row. So mentally and physically, uh, we're conditioned for it. Okay? Everything is preparation for something. So there you go. Okay? Let's keep doing it by design and uh, get better this weekend than we were last weekend. We good, Jared? Yes, sir. Okay, let's get a break. Good job today. LSU on two. One, two. LSU. Ball. Ball.
thing you know something was passed along uh, to me that this was a part of our tradition and we have such a great tradition it's important to me that we always look like LSU baseball in terms of Hayden just the selfless decision and, and selfless to us means always placing the needs of the team above your own individually by coming back he exhibited that because again I do think from a baseball player standpoint he's ready for professional baseball so you start there and then him overcoming adversity. I mean, until the middle of last year, the guy had been hurt the entire time that I'd been here. But to stay with it and get to the point where he could contribute as not just a piece of that team, but a huge piece of that team. Now you have a selfless player that's overcome adversity. Like, we have to model those things, you know, to be the type of program that we want to be. In. And Hayden does a great job of that. Let's go, baby! When I say let's go! <laughs> Uh, I don't know. My expectations for him are to be in that character that I just outlined of continuing to be selfless, continuing to be a guy that is going to overcome adversity, to positively impact all of his teammates. And he is definitely part of our, our leadership group. You know, the, the number eight thing, maybe it gets pointed in his direction, but he's a group of five or six guys that um, are going to provide really good player leadership for our team. Angus, come here. Something weird. Come here. Uh, for whatever reason, he doesn't like the camera. Come here. You're fine. Come here. You're fine. Come up on the couch. Come on. There you go. There you go. I think the we, someone used the metaphor the other day. It's like when you're climbing Everest, you usually have guides.